Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to group layers in Procreate. And just one thing before we start, at the end of this video you'll find a coupon for my store where you can get any Procreate brush set for free. This coupon will work only for the first 5 people, but I will share your coupon in every tutorial, so subscribe and click the bell icon so you can get notification about the new videos. And now let's go back to the tutorial. So here's my illustration with each element on its own layer. But let's say I want to group layers that are associated with the bird. So to do that, I will go to layer panel, I'll find the layers I want to group, and that will be these three layers, and I will select them. So the first one is already selected, but now I have to select these two. To do that, I'll take my pencil and I'll swipe the layer to the right. You will notice that now three of my layers are selected. You will also notice the two options appear at the top right here, delete and group. These options will appear only if, you've, if you have selected more than one layer. So if I go back and select just one layer, you will notice that these two options disappear. So let's go back and select the three layers. Now we want to group the layers, so we will press on group. And now three, my, three of my layers are grouped in this folder. I am the person who advocates for naming each layer in each group of layers in order to stay organized, so I would strongly suggest naming the group of layers. So to do that, you have to press on the new group, tap rename, and type in the name. I'll go with the bird, tap anywhere on the screen, and now your group is named. So that's that's all for this video. Um, that's how you create groups in Procreate. Um, I would say group is a great way to keep your work organized and tidy because once you start drawing you'll end up with many many layers and you inevitably get confused, you have to scroll down to find the needed layer, but group is just a great way to organize your work. And um, well, I hope this video was helpful, you learned something new, and I'll see you in the next one.